So, good morning, everyone. My name is Fatima Tamekeba Masali. I'm a first year student at Dakar American University of Science and Technology. And I'm the manager of this group. So, since all the first year students' projects are based on biomimicry, and for us knowing that uh, water is a vital source, and it is estimated that 783 million people in Africa don't have access to clean water, 40% live in uh, sub Saharan, and more than 320 million people don't have access to safe drinkable water. So in order to go against water crisis, we took inspiration from a beetle, the, the Namib desert beetle, which live in the desert of Namib, where its name comes from. It is able to collect uh, water from fog and to stock it as water droplets. So to have more explanation on how it's collected water with its skeleton, I will let my colleague Ndai Arambuso to give you more explanation on the process of the beetle. Um, thank you, Fatima. Hello, everyone. I'm Dai Arambuso. I'm a student in the IP program at Dakar American University of Science and Technology. So I'm going to explain you how the Namib desert beetle collects the water with his skeleton. He basks in the fog standing upside down on the top of the dunes, and its back is covered in bumps that have, uh, that have water-loving tips and mm -hmm. water-repairing slopes. So in other words, that are hydrophilic and hydrophobic. This structure encourages tiny droplets of fog to stick to the surface. As the droplets coalesce to form larger drops, gravity um, causes them to incline 45 degrees and water run along ridge towards their mouth part, then they can drink. Assalamu alaikum everyone. My name is Sumaya Fal. I'm a student at Daos in the IP program. So here we are in a science field named biomimicry. It is a new science which is inspired by the nature in order to solve the human problems. In biomimicry, we have two steps, forward and reverse. But in our project, we have the reverse form that is followed by five steps. First of all, we have the design problem. It's to know our main problem, and here we have the water shortage. Secondly, we have the biological analogies, and thirdly, it consists to identify and to appropriate principles. Four, we have the abstraction. It means to move from biological to physics. And in our last part, we have to design our problem. And I will leave my partner, Andrea, to give you more details about it. Good morning, everyone. My name is Mkani Megzaya Andrea. I'm a second year freshman student at Daos and uh, I am in charge of the design part of our project. We have to work on uh, a certain type of uh, fog catcher that the teachers send the PDF to us, and we try to um, manage how, according to our project, um, change the frame and the form of the design. We make together an oscillator that will help us to have the variation of, of angle according to the beetles, and also we use um, a certain type of mesh that can help us to collect uh, more water. And actually we are working on how we can uh, design uh, the collector to collect a lot of water without um, external uh, dust. Thank you. Hello, my name is Yasin, but I'm a student in the IP program. So, in summary, to solve this problem of water crisis in many localities in Africa, we create this project to we create this project in order to help people who live in this locality to have drinkable water and to and to have enough water so that they can improve their daily activities 
like such as agriculture and many other domains. So right now we are just making a prototype, but we want to improve it to make it more sophisticated to help those people. Here uh, we have, um, I just try to represent the mesh which is supposed to collect the water. And uh, in the second slide we have um, the aluminum axis that is supposed to um, rotate according to the oscillator that we made that we made here. And this is supposed to have like 90 degrees, 0 degree and 45 degree. And uh, here we have the the support that is supposed to the body that is supposed to hold our our mechanism to catch the water. We did not assemble it again, um, since because like we need a, a as I said earlier, we need of the collector, and once we we will done with the collector, we will assemble everything, and it will be better, be good for us.